Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 2. Do you ever feel like all you do is eat and play video games? Because if you do, you're not alone. And it can't kill you unless you let it get out of hand. But if you, if you let it get out of hand, just, just play more video games. It'll be fine. Welcome back to Darksiders. Dude, I don't know what it is. I, I feel like it's all I do is eat. It's, I, that's it. I, I go to work, I eat, I play video games. That's, that's it. I, I, have, I have no life, really. Like, I, I said goodbye to life about, uh, I don't know, three years ago. And it's all been bad. It's been okay. But, uh, it's all good. It's all good. But I just, just, hindsight, it's like I'm, I'm never without sunflower seeds. I'm never without, uh, you know, bottle of water, or I'm never without uh, 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 Twinkies, I, I don't know. I just I just feel like that's, that's all it is, it's just, just my food. What what am I going to shove through my face hole this time? Or today? You know? like the word diet is a bad word. So you don't speak of, speak of diets. That doesn't mean all. We were talking about movies in the last episode. And, uh, talked about how I like some movies that people can't stand. And, uh, it's fine, you know. I don't care. But, uh, those movies that are critically acclaimed, for instance, like the Godfather movies. I feel like a lot of people didn't like Godfather 2. And I can understand it, because I had that, like, back and forth type deal in the first part with Vito and Michael. And, like, that's, uh, you jump into timelines. It wasn't hard to follow. You know, it wasn't something like Inception where it's, like, what is this? It wasn't that, or it wasn't Donnie Darko? Like you could, you could follow Godfather too, but it uh, nice. But it, it uh, was it's 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 it is a little it is a little different, and it's like not on it's not street level Godfather either. It's a uh, you know like Michael's already established, like he's already set up in the in the family. He's the Don and all that stuff. And I like Godfather 2, don't get me wrong, Godfather 2 wasn't bad. It's just, uh, man, I really like Godfather 3. I feel like the third one might, might be the best one, indeed. I mean, as I say, how can you say that, talking about, you know, Godfather 1? How, how is that not... Godfather 1 is a masterpiece. I'm not saying Godfather 1 wasn't a masterpiece. That scene where Sonny gets shot at the crosswalk, that is... That, that's the best thing. It's, it doesn't get any better than that. Um... But I do, I do like Godfather Three. That scream that Al Pacino lets out at the very end of the movie, like I still just, oh, man, like I feel that. I feel like I understand why you're doing that. It's a, it's a big deal, big deal. But Godfather Three, Godfather Three. The thing about Godfather Three was it was so heavily influenced by the one on influence. Influence is not the word. Like it had a lot to do with the Vatican. Like it was just, it's like a. Just a, a bomb in the face of corruption, and I just, I, I can't, I think that's why I like it so much, it's, it's because it's so, hey, money can buy you anything, and, but at the same time, Michael's trying to go straight, trying to be legitimate in his business now, and, you know, and he, like, he wants to, that's the thing, like, with Godfather, even again, even with Godfather One, whenever he was making decisions about what to do for the family, even in Godfather One, he's just like, uh, "We're gonna make him pay." Like he, like he killed Carlo. He, uh, he killed Klusky, Killed Salazzo. Like he just like the coldness began in Godfather One, and it carried over into Godfather Two. And what? And it's. And but in Godfather Two, he, he was trying to make more. Well, yeah, he was. He was trying to make more moves to go legitimate. Like, that was always the goal, was to get to a legitimate state for the family. But, uh, Godfather 3, uh, well, uh, Godfather 3, like, he's almost there. Immobile Yare is going to get him there. You know, like, that is, that's it. You know, he, well, actually, he pretty much was already there. And then what happened with, uh, between Vincent and, uh, Joey Zaza, like that was, uh, like that was another thing, and it was, you know, it's just, there's so much, like he was almost there, and that's that's what gets me. 
And eventually, well, I mean, eventually, in the end, he did get there. He retired to Sicily, but he lost everything. Like, he was just like a shadow of his former self. You know, he was just, he was, uh, dude, I, can't, I can't make up that thing. I can't, just can't, can't grab it. can't grab it right now. So it was, uh, I don't know. It's just like it's the whole Godfather series is, is just like one big continuation. It's hard to say, oh, I like this movie better than this movie because it, it's all it's it's like it, it's its own thing and it's, it should be it should be that way for I guess every series like there shouldn't be a series of movies where one of the movies can be a standalone you know what I mean it, it, it should all follow like the Godfather's path I guess of you know, movie creations and whatnot And has anybody noticed how the level of insanity of the last two videos has been? But I don't know if I'm going to make this. It's these little guys, man. They're trying to be crazy. It's a good thing that scatter shot does so much damage on these guys. Bad news for this. I just don't know where the like the right place to hit him are. Probably like right in the center mass, you know. Because like the spread shot does I mean it spreads. It doesn't not spread. But. A lot of bad dudes. I'm starting to think the Vanquisher stuff is better than the, the Voyager or whatever the ones I had last time. We're on now, whatever these are, the uh, Vagabond or whatever they're called. Oh, that's it. The third piece. So, like, the, the the entire rod was just... Oh, wow. It was just uh, spread amongst Earth, huh? That's interesting. All right, that's it. The ancient rod of Aphrodite has been... Uh, whatever it's called. Can I use it as a weapon before I give it back to the guy? The Rod of Arafel. Now fully restored to true power, just like the Master Sword in Wind Waker. The Rod of Arafel grant holder, it's with immeasurable power. So me, I am currently the holder. Currently. Currently. What kind of power am I getting bestowed with? I would like to know. You know I'm at least a little bit curious. What kind of, I mean, it, it allows us access to the key, so I guess that is some pretty hardcore power. I mean, I would, I would assume, you know. I'm trying to keep an eye on things. Like, I don't know if some of those angels can be, like, attached to the ceiling, or... I mean, I know I've missed some. I'm going to probably have to come back. If there's an achievement related to freeing all the angels, I'm going to have to come back to the Earth Realm at some point. Hopefully there's nothing that would be missable in Darksiders 2. Well, maybe there is. Actually, I should probably look that up right now. Oh, God. Oh. And I heard him. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, it's, all right. it's either a very angry monkey or a zombie. Let him go. We got four at ten. I guess that's, that's okay. That's not... You're not going to be breaking any records, but that's, that's good. That's good. It's not bad. What's up, man? How you doing? Lord of Arafel I'm going to have to make a short episode. This time, I am gentlemen. tempted to ask that you wield that weapon shower, and turn the tide of this war. But I fear the destroyer would capture it again and turn it to his dark purpose. No, better that you remove it from this world and into the safe keeping of the White Army. We will make our stand here until the Hellguard is no more. That's pretty baby. I would That's stand with you, Yoriel. My brother's fate takes me on another path. You have proven yourself honorable. A virtue little known with your kind. But if I ever see him, war must answer for his crimes. He could not have brought this upon the earth. And I will see my brother spared. Do what you will, Ryder. But this world is lost. And that cannot be undone. That is true. Like, I guess in a way, Darksiders, from a humanity standpoint, it's the worst video game in the world, right? Because <laughs> this is literally about the end of humanity. Like, humanity's over, right? Like, this is, there may be some humans left, 
on Earth right now, but it's 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 over. And what of the hell god, Uriel? Every blade dull eventually. That's what I'm counting on. The demons will suffer all the more when we force the blade home. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> it's like, yeah, uh, uh, well, but yeah, I guess a dull blade would hurt more than a sharp blade. Like, a sharp blade would just cut right through and kill you. But a dull blade, like, you, <laughs> you know, I mean, you're talking about a lot more pain being dealt out, so. She's officially a martyr at this point. She's, a uh, she's gonna stand by what, you know, her, she can't go back to heaven or the White City, whatever it's called. She can't go back there. But that's all all that's left to do is to fight. So yeah, I've uh, I've got new respect for Uriel, even though she uh, pretty much chased us down the first game. Well, kind of. We got to that point where we had to. What? What is this? No, no. Oh my god. See, I really don't want to make an eleven minute video, but uh, <laughs> you know, I had to cut this short anyway. Dang it, man. Now, where's my loading point going to be? Oh. All right. Well, I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I, I hate to make a short episode, but... I mean, I had to, I had to cut it short sometime. So, thank you for watching. Keep it real, keep doing you. Um, but, yeah, even though she chased us down in the first first game pretty hard, the Hellguard, all of them, you know, just fighting angels, demons, everything. Uh, I, I guess... Well, I mean, it would make sense because war was, at that point, war was the one that committed the crime. Not death, not fury, and not, uh, who's the other one? Strife, I think, is the fourth horseman. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty big deal, man. Uh, this game is, uh, I mean, it's heavy because I like how it takes the, the other perspective of the horseman, like death trying to save his brother. You know, and having to go through all this, he's not really. Hey, he's, he's kind of breaking rules, but he's 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 playing people is what he's doing, and that, that's what I dig about death. He's like, this is what's gonna happen, okay? Um, and he, but I mean, he's, he's he's happy to help people, but he's he's not picking sides. Like he's not saying like, I'm gonna be friends with the demon or friends with the angels. I'm gonna do what's best for my brother, you know, and I'm gonna do what I need to do, and that's, it's a very good game, I, I, I like it, and I can't wait for Darksiders 3, I think I said in one of the last episodes that Nikki gave me a, uh, or no, I think I just told Derek, Nikki gave me, uh, all the upcoming pre-orders at GameStop, and Darksiders 3 was on it, so, uh, I think I already put some money down on it, so, hopefully it's coming out soon, maybe we'll have another Let's Play to do in the Darksiders series, which I'm more than happy to do, and yes, we are going to be doing a, uh, <laughs> Far Cry 5, but good God, it's, oh man, that's going to be a, whew, if we decide 100%, I mean, it, oh dude, I don't know, it, it it really depends on how easy the 100% in Far Cry 5 is. I don't mind doing 100 episodes like I did in Black Flag, 156 I think, in Black Flag, it's the longest Let's Play to date, because we did 100%. See, I don't mind doing that again, but it's going to take me a very long time to upload that since I only do one video a day. We're looking at it taking 100, 156 days for uh, for that, and that's a third of a year. So we're talking four months, man. It's going to take us four months out of the year, and that's if we didn't miss a day. So that's uh, just on one Let's Play. Come on, dude. Normally I was doing a Let's Play a week because I was able to upload whatever I wanted to, and now I've had to do this, but I mean, it's, it's, it's fine, I mean, I, I don't mind doing it, that's, that's what I'm saying, I just, I, I wonder if it's gonna bother somebody else that I'm not doing, like, I'm not blowing through these games one at a time, or, you know, just, you know, once a week, or once every two weeks, you know, getting, like, three Let's Plays out a month, just wonder if that's gonna bother, bother people, I don't know, either way, Far Cry 5 is very far away, uh, yeah, we got a, we got a lot of let's plays to do in between now and Xbox One games, but you know, I'm I'm excited for it. I, to be honest with you, we got uh, you know Life is Strange and uh, Numa Breath of Life and Outlast and uh, what was what was another one that was kind of like Numa Breath of Life or Life is Strange? Oh, what was it? <sighs> Whatever it is, and yeah, we I mean we got a lot of good games. Coming up on Xbox One, 
I may do auction three. I'm not sure. Um, haven't even beat that game yet. I, I'd like to beat it first. But uh, oh, uh, Gone Home. Yeah, we're definitely doing Gone Home. Uh, I'm actually gonna read everything when I when I do that let's play. You can stop watching the video now. <laughs> we're just gonna be rambling on for probably another minute. But uh, but yeah, sorry about this this freeze up. I'm sorry I had to cut the episode short anyway. But uh, I gotta get ready, man. I gotta be in Cleveland. By four, because the movie starts like almost immediately after that. So, but I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Keep it real, keep doing you. I will see you, cats and kittens, probably Monday. Um, Lisa said that it was we're pretty much going to be back on our normal schedule next week, but uh, well, pretty mu like you know, kind of the same but different, similar hours. But so I'm going to try to do Monday and Tuesday because I don't think I can do Friday. I think I have to stay all day Friday. So, so I'm going to, I'm actually going to be like caught up and then some because I did Thursday, Friday this week and I'm going to be doing Monday, Tuesday next week. There's only like a two, I can't upload eight episodes in two days. So see, I'm going to be caught up. I guess I'll take a little bit of a break until Darksiders is done after that, but you know, just uploading every night. So that's, that's the cool thing about this new setup is, for me, you know, it's not as much stress as, like, oh, I got to upload this, this, and this, and just, you know, like, constantly going, like, upload, finish that plan, uploading, all right, make some more videos, and, you know, it's just, like, a never-ending thing. Now, because I'm only able to do one a day, um, it's easy to get caught up because since I do eight videos a week, there's only seven days in the week. So that's an extra video, right? That is going to carry over to the next week. And then I'll be recording more. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm getting ahead, you know, one at a time. And that pretty much uh, allows me to take a break. Like, if I make, get ahead by seven videos, I could essentially take a week off because I'm still uploading from before, you know. So that's a uh, that's that's always a nice a nice little break, every now and again. But uh, but yeah, we're I mean I don't see any signs of stopping let's playing. I know it's it's been a weird year uh, so far and a weird last year between uh, everything with that trademark and YouTube demonetizing uh, most of its channels and just let's playing in general. I feel like it's starting to turn into a I mean, there's still going to be gamers all over. I just feel like it's not as popular as it used to be. Um, but that may just be me. I don't know the outward appearance. You know, I, I only have my uh, view of things, and it's it's hard to anticipate somebody else's. Because I remember finding Let's Plays and thinking it being the best thing in the world. You know, you hear me talk about Nintendo Capri Sun all the time, and he's still my favorite Let's Player. Um still like him still watch him too but i i feel like it, it's not as i it may just be because i do it but it doesn't feel like it's as, as popular it's as fun you know it's like i remember it reminds me of eddie van halen one interview i saw on the internet he said that uh he said something to the effect of, once you start making music, you stop listening to music, which that's not exactly what he said, but that's what he was kind of getting to. He said the last record he bought was some album like back in the 90s or something like that. And, I, and that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I still listen to music. I made music. I still listen to music a lot. But I, I agree with what he's saying. It's hard to be a fan and be a player at the same time. Which, I know that doesn't make any sense. Like, there's plenty of people that are that play that are fans of other people, but that's that's not the that, that's not the that's not what he was trying to say. It's like there's he, he was trying to say that the wall has been broken down between uh, uh, like fan fiction, I guess, like uh, like a, a fan adoring the guitar. He's now playing the guitar. It's like it's like having a like an acting job. Like you want to be an actor or an actress and then you get to be an actor or an actress and you understand what work it is and it's it's not really as glamorous as you thought it was that's the same way but that's the same way with anything let's plays music 
uh, uh, professional athletes, uh, even a doctor, I guess. But it's, I still like it. Like I, I like watching Let's Plays. You know, I watch Achievement Hunter sometimes. I watch NCS. I watch uh, the the Runaway Guys, uh, uh, Proton John, Chugga Conroy. Uh, you know, people like Luca Jin. Um, you know, I watch these people and, and I like them. I still like they're funny and I I enjoy like their journey through the game. But I, I'm not as fanatical about it as I used to be because now I'm the one doing it, right? Now I'm the one making the videos, and it's 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 just like a it's like a shift of uh, of interest. Like the interest isn't anymore watching let's plays. It's how am I going to make them? So I don't I don't so you don't, you don't think about watching them. It's 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 more of a production thing. And I know this may not make any sense because I'm just I'm having a hard time understanding my own words. <laughs> But hopefully that explains a little, little bit of the situation. I, but I don't plan on stopping. I, it's just, it's just been slowed down. But I don't, I don't plan on stopping. I'm having too much fun. Like it's, I was talking, I was thinking about this the other day, and yeah, this, like I said, you could just in the video ten minutes ago. But uh, thinking about this the other day, uh, the feeling of when I started doing let's plays is still there after. This is going to be my fourth year of making Let's Plays in about two months. The original feeling of... I, I would say almost euphoria. It's it's a, There's a liberating feeling when I do this. Make, you know, play these games I grew up with and games I'm, you know, just found and showing them to people and talking about them, my experiences, what I know about it. You know, there's, there's, there's like a, there's a freedom in that that, and that allows you to really be yourself like people have come here to see you and hear you and watch the game and you know this, things like that like that's a very empowering thing and uh yeah I, it's i still get that same effect and that, that reminds me of that uh ozzy osbourne song well i don't know if it's a song but he said uh well yeah it is a song he's like i gotta keep rocking because it makes me crazy and it's a uh, and it, uh, in the same song, he's like, "It drives them crazy because I won't be cool." And like he's he's talking about the the feeling he gets. It's a song called "Desire" by Ozzy Osbourne, D E S I R E, and uh, it pretty much it, it encompasses like the whole feeling of doing what you love. And it's a it's a pretty pretty important song. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. That's a pretty important song. I was lucky to hear, um, but yeah, I still got the same. Just still got that same feeling of just in, like enjoying something, and then being able to share it with people is the 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 biggest gift in the world. And I'm just I'm happy to be here. I it was never about the money. So when YouTube demonetized me, it was it was more of a, a blessing than anything because now I can literally just do it for fun. I'm probably gonna get, if there's copyrighted music in the song, I'm probably just gonna keep keep it in i don't i don't really care like let let the person whose song whose songs in the video make the money i don't it doesn't matter uh but but yeah so yeah we'll uh we'll reconvene monday afternoon at about hopefully twelve thirty. make four more episodes and just hang out party have a good time make some jokes talk about the stuff we talk about so thank you for watching ladies and we'll keep, we'll keep doing you Wish me luck tonight on this wonderful adventure. Keep it real. Keep doing you. And peace.